So how exactly do I type? This vlog will get you the answer. Hey guys, it's Gabe here. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Gabe Trujillo, and I'm a quadriplegic who's using this blog to share my life and experiences as a person with a disability. I'll cover a wide range of topics, but today I'm gonna to talk to you how I use uh, a keyboard to type on my computer without using full use of my hands. Now, when I first became a quad, I could barely move my hands around at all. Uh, when I first started with technology, I used, or well, I tried to use the dictation software and it was very rudimentary and hard for me to use, uh, especially because I hated being in quiet rooms. So if I went to any room that was relatively loud, the dictation software would pick up all that extra sound and it would hardly write whatever I was saying into the microphone. So I quickly dumped that out and got rid of it. Uh, so today, the thing that I use the most uh, as my main form of accessibility is the on-screen keyboard. Uh, it's available for both Mac and Windows computers, uh, and it's been a godsend to me as far as giving me the ability to type on a computer. Now, the main thing, uh, it's basically just a picture of a keyboard that is on the actual computer screen. Now, to use it, you basically use the mouse and you hover around each letter and you click on it and it acts just like a normal keyboard whenever you click each letter it types out whatever it is you're typing so when I first started I was very slow at it uh, I was it took me a while to get used to it um, but after a while I slowly got really good and am able to write pretty proficiently with it uh, it's what I use now and it's a, a really big help to me um, whenever I do I have the ability to use an actual keyboard and hunt and peck, um, but it does take a long time. Uh, I have to use my wheelchair to move back and forth across the keys to push down, and my fingers uh, get really sore and, and tired after a while. Uh, so I utilize the mouse to type things out, and, and it's worked really well for me. Um, so for those of you who are looking for some accessibility into computers and need to find a way to type, uh, I recommend that. Uh, it won't work for everyone, but uh, that's what I use the most and it's been the most effective tool that I've used uh, so far uh, during my work with computers. Uh, so it's a great piece of accessibility. It's a great tool. Uh, I utilize it every day uh, whenever I type. Uh, I'm on the computer pretty much all day long with my job and then just hanging around after that. Uh, so I'm definitely thankful that it's out there. Uh, if you are disabled and you utilize accessibility tools, uh, let me know what you guys use uh, and share them in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys use uh, for right now. Um, for those no who are, are non-disabled, if you know anybody, uh, this is a great tool to use and share with them. So uh, you can find it pretty much on both Macs and, compu and Windows computers. Oftentimes they're in the system preferences settings. You just got to go down, uh, find it, and then uh, turn it on. Um, but yeah, it, it once you know and get the hang of it, um, it's really customizable. You can set like the click through speeds and stuff like that so you can get it to fit whatever your needs are. Um, and again, uh, it's a great tool and I really enjoy using it. Um, this is just one of the many things I'll talk about uh, on this vlog. Uh, I'll share some of the other pieces of equipment that I use during my day-to-day -day lives that helps me out as a person with a disability. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know about me or my life, definitely throw them in the comments below uh, or contact me over your favorite social media platform. My hashtag or username is at Gabe Trujillo on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So definitely reach out if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you all next time on the next vlog. See ya.